darlings, welcome back. I have an anxious puppy dog um, this morning who cries and barks as soon as I pop him down. So Dexy is joining us for the intro today. This is a super highly requested video and I think I did this about four years ago and let's just say my jewellery collection has exploded since then. Jewellery for me is a really really important part of my outfit. I nearly always have at least one necklace, some rings, jewellery, earrings, bracelets on. I, I love jewellery and I do have a pretty big jewellery collection. So I'm going to be going through that with you today. Hopefully I will have been able to pull all the different things, all the different jewellery pieces that are dotted around the house together. Sometimes if I'm doing the washing up I might take something off, um, I've got a little tray by my bed. There are little jewellery boxes here, there and everywhere as you will soon see. And because of my job I have worked with quite a few jewellery companies in the past. So for 2017 and 18 I was actually an ambassador for Pandora jewellery which was a dream come true. I've worked really closely with brands such as Monica Vinada, Missima, Astrid and Mew, to name a few in the past. So a lot of my jewellery is as a result of those collaborations, but I also have a real sweet spot for investing in jewellery as well. I would say my favourite mm. level of jewellery is what I call like a demi-fine jewellery. So that's not high street and it's not um, super luxury designer jewellery. So it is those brands like the Monica Vinadas, like the Missimas, that are really my sweet spot when it comes to price and quality, as you will soon see. And most of the pieces in my collection that I have invested in at those kind of price levels are quite classic and I feel confident that most of my jewellery goes with most of my outfits. Baby boy, why are you so sad today? You are so needy. You've got such bad breath. So I'm gonna start by showing you where my jewellery is. I'm sorry that it's not gonna be that neat and tidy to, <laughs> to start off because I am throughout this video also gonna be having a bit of a tidy up, a bit of a a jewellery organisation. I will show you my most worn pieces, my best investments, if there are any that I regret buying, um, and why I've chosen to either spend or save on various pieces. So starting with what I am wearing now, this necklace combination is actually a fairly new little duo to my collection. It's from a brand that I absolutely adore called Edge of Ember. They are the most beautiful quality. You may remember, you'll see it shortly, a pearl necklace not too dissimilar to this one that I pretty much wore all last summer and the beginning of this year as well. I wore it in the ocean, I never took it off for showering and things like that and it's not tarnished in the slightest so I'm really happy with the quality and I'm pairing a slightly different version of that pearl necklace with a chain necklace and then I've got the matching chain on my wrist here as a bracelet and then also on this hand as many of you may know I have got my temporary engagement ring. My actual engagement ring is having to be resized at the jewellers and it's going to take around eight weeks, well depending on the availability of the jewellers because of coronavirus. So I'm wearing a temporary, very similar, although slightly larger, ring from Pandora just so that I don't feel completely nude and unengaged while it gets repaired. And then my earrings are just some really sweet little hoop earrings from Topshop. I love when I find really affordable pieces that look super classic and expensive. I'll show you a few more examples. And then Dexter, I'm gonna to have to pop you down. And then on my other hand, the only thing that I've got on today, quite minimal for me, is this lovely little ring. It's a three-tiered ring from Astrid and Mew. That's another brand where I feel like the quality and the price is a really good balance. Beautiful, timeless pieces. This ring itself is actually adjustable, so very comfortable to wear. I don't believe they still stock this ring. I will try and find something similar. But yeah, that's the jewelry that I'm wearing today. I'm now gonna turn you into vlog mode to show you my storage. Okay, so I think I have actually managed to pull together the vast majority of my jewellery collection. Um, this box used to be up on that storage area there, but I've just pulled it down so that it's much easier to go through. And then these different jewellery boxes and little pots were just here, there and everywhere. So this one was on my bedside table, this one was um, on this unit. This one lives on this unit as well because it's mostly hair things. And then I have got multiple little travel jewellery pouches which are all so useful but what happens is after I get back from a trip is I never empty them because I'm always thinking oh well that's the stuff that I'm wearing most at the moment so I might as well leave it all together 
and then everything just ends up all separated, which is very annoying. Oh my goodness, there's just stuff in all of these travel containers that I've thought that I've lost. So yeah, a really big organization is needed. I can tell from the shell jewelry that this was the one that I took to the Maldives with me. But the bulk of my makeup lives in this, which is my Stacker's jewelry case. It actually needs gluing because the mirror keeps falling off. So I'm gonna do that today. It needs a tidy up as you can see, but once upon a time, this was organized. There are some beautiful pieces in here, like for example, this gorgeous pair of earrings from Soru Jewelry. I just think their designs are spectacular. So a lot of rings are in this section down here. And then of course you can take layers off to see the different jewelry pieces in the various um, sections. So we've got little kind of charms in here, necklaces, bracelets, and then things that I wear slightly less often down at the bottom. So this really does need a humongous sort out. We've got my Michael Kors smartwatch, that along with this Chanel watch, which, which I have to confess, darlings, I got this from a market in Thailand over 10 years ago when I didn't know any better. But I have to say, it is actually rather beautiful, very, very high quality, and I still really love it. So I think what I need to do is bite the bullet. I need to lie everything down, get everything spread out on the floor, and have a real good organization. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. But you've kept me far away from my focus. And to my heart, I cannot lie. Stop. Okay, hey darlings, so as you saw from that time lapse, I have just emptied out all of my little jewelry containers, not the big box yet, um, and I've got everything in a semi order on the floor here. So I thought I would go through some of these pieces with you because I feel like these, because they've been in the boxes, are my some of my most worn bits. Oh my goodness, so where do we begin? Let's start over here with the earrings. So I'm really glad that I did this because so many of my earrings, I just had one earring in one place and then one in the other and then I would never wear them because I could never find the matching pair. But I've managed to pair up all of my earrings except this pair and I'm really annoyed with myself. I think I might have lost the other one of these on a photo shoot. Um, and also some of the smaller earrings, which I actually forgot about and love. I now have remembered that I've got, so I need to find somewhere better to store them so that I get more wear out of them. So for example, this pair, gosh, they're so tiny, it's quite hard to show you, but this pair from Monica Vinader, beautiful little mini rose gold hoops with a gorgeous rose quartz um, gemstone down at the bottom. I love them, they're so dainty and feminine, very good quality, and yeah, definitely another pair that I need to get a lot more wear out of. This is a slightly more statement pair, but very true to my style again with the flower and the pearl. I'm a huge fan of pearl earrings. These rainbow earrings are really fun. They are from Rosie Fortescue's jewelry collection. And then next to them, I think these little hoops with the hanging moon. I think I'm pretty sure these are from Amelia Liana's collaboration with Skinny Dip. I have been wearing this pair quite a lot lately. They are some little pearlized hoops from a top shop, so a nice affordable pair. I think this hanging pair is also Amelia Liana with Skinny Dip. I've got a few from Astrid and Mew, a few of my ear cuffs and single earrings are from Astrid and Mew. Again, a really, really lovely, high quality brand at good price points. And then these tiny little hoops with the pearls on, they are also Astrid and Mew. These are Astrid and Mew, but from last year. And to be honest, I don't see myself wearing these that much in the future. I've got so many pairs that I prefer. So I think I might actually pop those in a pile to sell. The same with these hoops. They're absolutely beautiful, but they're just not hugely my style. And I think they are around 150 pounds. So I'd rather someone else got some use out of them. I might pop some of these pieces on my Depop if you are interested. So then we've got some really fun earrings. These are from a beautiful brand called Soru. And I've got a few pairs from them. So they have these gorgeous designs with the moons on them. This with the moon and the sun. Um, then then they they're so intricate but they're not too heavy these are my first pair from Soru with the blue diamante moon and the pearl I just adore them and then also my collection from Soru is this pair 
I love a good pair of statement pearl earrings. And then in the jewellery box I showed you earlier, I've got this moon pair as well. I, I probably need to find a special place for my Soru jewellery because it is slightly larger, um, it does get tangled with things, but I definitely want to keep them all safe. This is a beautiful pair of earrings from a recent Monica Vinita collection, and I've got a matching necklace somewhere. These, oh my goodness, the brand is not going to come to my memory, but I got these on Net-A-Porter. They are so elegant, they look absolutely gorgeous on summer holidays. And then I found this pair in Zara, which are very similar indeed. I don't think I need two pairs of hanging pearl earrings, so I'm going to pop those in the pile to sell. These clip-on earrings are really fun, instant way of just making an outfit look very glam. I got those on the Outnet. And then I've also got down here this pair of mini hoops with hanging pearls. I think... I think these were just from And Other Stories, so really affordable, but I think they are so, so elegant, um, and I want to get a lot more wear out of those, they're so pretty. So then, underneath the pink mat, I have got some more of my pearl earrings. This pair I got from Zara a couple of years ago, they are summer holiday favourites, they just instantly make an outfit look so beachy and gorgeous. I got this pair more recently from Zara, they are a more kind of organic shaped pearl, but I think I prefer some of my other pearl earrings, so I'm gonna pop those in the to sell pile. And then, as you can see, I've got a lot of of gold and pearl earrings, probably far too many. These, I think, were my first shell earrings and I love them. I still think they're absolutely gorgeous. I think these were from Topshop. I would say Topshop and, and other stories are probably the best high street places for jewellery. I think this pair here were from Topshop. And then these, oh, I think these were from River Island, but I actually don't think the pearl looks that high quality. So they're going to go in the to sell pile. And I think I have pearl earrings that I prefer to these, so I'm going to sell those too. These, I believe, were from And Other Stories. They have a really unusual shape to them. It almost looks like this part goes into your ear, but they're actually starting to tarnish a little bit. I might try and buff those up and then sell those. These two are quite similar. Um, it's going to really annoy me that I cannot remember the brand of these ones, oh my goodness, that's really frustrating. These are Stephanie Waxberg, who is a lovely content creator. She collaborated with, I think it's Salom, I think that's how you pronounce it, jewellery. And they're just such an elegant hanging pearl earring. And then these giant pearl hoops, I think, are Topshop. Moving on down here to a few of my bracelets. So this top one here, the twisted gold, is from Misma. And then... <clears throat> and it's a really gorgeous classic. It looks great in winter if you're wearing a long sleeve jumper. Very, very elegant. Nice for pairing with other yellow gold bracelets such as this chain one. They look really beautiful worn together. Then I saw this duo on ASOS and they were incredibly affordable. So I actually actually got these to show you guys as a bit of a dupe for Misma. But I don't need to keep both, so I'm actually going to pop the ASOS ones in the pile to sell. This next bracelet, and I actually have earrings and a necklace to match, is part of my most expensive, aside from my engagement ring, jewellery collection. They are from Omega. And... They are so stunning. We took the most gorgeous photos for a collaboration that I did with Omega. I know, pinch me. And the designs are just stunning. They're like these pearlized flowers with rose gold edging on them. They are so, so beautiful. Very, very precious to me. This Missima chain bracelet I showed you a second ago. And then, and then this lovely little one from Edge of Ember, part of their emoji range, which is really sweet. Then we have a couple of Monica Vinader bracelets. I love their Astra chain bracelets. Very, very elegant. They look absolutely beautiful um, when worn. This one has got a rose quartz charm and then this one has more of a hammered metal charm you could definitely pair them up together as i do and i'm sure we'll find more of these as the collection goes on but my monica vinader signature bangles they are so elegant and timeless and definitely something i'd recommend investing in this one i actually got in a monica vinader sample sale so it's got pinky engraved on the underside i don't know what that means um but it meant that i got this at an absolute steal strangely this one is is tarnishing quite a lot so I need to take this one to be cleaned but this one I think I actually worked with Monica Vinader on a Mother's Day campaign to show off their engraving and this was a hand-drawn heart that I engraved and I always sign off my blog posts with XOXO so I engraved that in there but I'm going to pop that to the side because it needs a good clean and you may know that I'm a huge fan of Monica Vinader um Friendship bracelets, they have loads of different styles of which I have quite a few and I also like to get them engraved with either 
a career highlight or something that I'm working towards. So for example, this one has 400,000 engraved underneath and that was a treat to myself on reaching 400,000 subscribers. This one, I'm not sure if my camera will focus, but it actually says quarter of a million engraved on this one. And then this one here, I need to start wearing it to make this come true because this one actually says half a million. So this was a goal as opposed to an achievement. So I'm gonna start wearing that because we are approaching that milestone. A couple more Monica Veneta necklaces this is the Alta or Astra, I always get that confused, necklace which is again so elegant, the chunky chain and you can get whatever charms you like on the bottom, again I have a hammered really lovely organic shape. You could open it up and take the coloured charm from the bracelet and pop that on the necklace too. And then this one is one of their more, one of their newer designs with the coloured gemstone in there, beautiful with a plain white jumper. Oh we have a lot of rings, I hope you guys don't mind this carpet close up, I can't really think of a better way of showing you the collection, um, but this is from Monica Vinader, a really classic circle design with the diamonds around the circle. These two I think are from the Amelie Liana skinny dip collection, I think, I love how they look together when you line the triangles up. And then this one is also from Amelia's Skinny Dip collection, I think. But I don't wear that one so much, so I'm going to pop that in the pile of ones to sell. These Monica Vinader rings, they are the same shape, if you can see, as the signature bracelet. Obviously the bracelet's a giant version, um, but they look absolutely beautiful. One of them is plain, and one has the diamonds on the top there, they're very elegant. And then we've got some stacking bracelets here, again from Monica Vinader, um, a mixture of yellow gold and rose gold from Pandora. Again, I love stacking Pandora rings, that's one little cluster with, with the heart ring. Some others that I love to layer from Pandora, such as this floral ring, another adjustable ring similar to the one that I'm wearing now from Astrid and Mew, that's really elegant. And then one of my chunkier rings, this one is really fun, it's got a J on it. This is actually Chloe, so the, the way that I came about owning this was I did a collaboration with Chloe Fragrances two Christmases ago, and this was a little gift from the brand. Uh, this is a chunky ring which I think I actually got from River Island, but I don't really wear that so that's going to go in the pile to sell. I really love this double band effect ring from Monica Vinader, that's a really nice, another really nice stacking ring, um, and then this is one of their organic shaped rings, again Monica Vinader. So let's move on to necklaces, um, I have put some of my yellow gold ones all together down here, we have got a couple at the end here from Missima, they look really fantastic layered together, these are Missima classics, um, I think I got this one in the Black Friday sale a couple of years ago, but they, it's still one of their best sellers. The Lucy Williams horn necklace, and this is a style again from the Roman collection, which is very timeless. This I always think looks quite Missima-esque, but it's actually from Soru Jewelry, and it's another of my absolute favourites. I love the addition of the pearls with the Roman coin. Again, they all stack really nicely together. That's a similar style again from Missima, and then this one is Edge of Ember, really beautiful pearly moon design. Down here, these ones pair really nicely with the longer ones. These are slightly shorter chains. We have got um, a, t a yellow gold twisted necklace from Missima, and then a bit of a dupe from And Other Stories. Again, I always like to pick up these dupes so that I can show you in videos, just so that if you really wanted to get this look but you don't have the budget for it, I can give you an affordable alternative. But I don't need to keep both, so I'm actually going to put the dupe on my Depop. Same with this one, again it's a bit of a dupe for Missima, it has got the pearl at the bottom but then to be honest I would, now now that I've shown it to you, I would probably reach for my Missima ones over this one, so again that's going to go on Depop. A couple of different chain styles from Missima, these look so gorgeous either on their own or stacked together and they look really nice paired with a longer pendant such as this one. And then here's another one which I absolutely adore, again from Soru. I really like how they pair the slightly more classic chain with a beautiful pearl style, so you mix in a little bit of a feminine design. And then here we've got two very long pendants, this one from the same collection as these earrings from Monica Vinader. You can see it's got that really beautiful rose stone. And then this was from a Pandora collection, it's like a wheat style um, charm on the end of the necklace, but I don't reach for that one very often, so that's going to go in the pile to sell. And then finally, for on the ground here, we have got my pearlies. 
my pearls slash shell slightly chunky at shorter necklaces so this is a real mixed shell necklace i think i got this from top shop in fact i think most of these are from top shop it was last summer in particular that a lot of designer brands were doing gold and real shell combinations it wasn't a style that i wanted to spend a lot of money on so thankfully the high street had some really fab options this one I've not worn because it's got the string design and I always tend to prefer the metal, so I'm going to pop that one up to sell. Um, and then this one is quite similar. It alternates between gold and then shell. Really, really pretty. I love wearing these on holiday. As you can see, they're all a little bit tarnished. That's because I've been wearing them in the sea, but it doesn't hugely bother me. Chunky pearl necklace, obviously faux pearl, you can tell, because they're almost shining blue from and other stories, but it was very affordable and it's really pretty and effective. A shell bracelet, again I think that was from Topshop, and then this lovely very delicate pearl bracelet. The brand is called Alona and this was a very kind birthday gift from the girls at Clinique. So now that I've got all of the lovely pieces from the jewellery boxes on the floor and I've cleared out a few, I'm going to clear another space on the floor and empty out the jewellery box and I think I'm going to prioritise my favourite pieces to actually live in the main jewellery box. That seems the most logistical thing to do. So this could be another long time lapse um, while I empty out my stacker's box. <laughs> That was time consuming. As you can see, the boxes are now empty, aside from my little poppies, which I've popped in the bottom there. So the section that I'm putting things which I'm actually going to sell has rapidly increased, as I knew it would. Lots of little rings, lots of bracelets. So I'm gonna photograph them and pop them on my Depop, in case you're interested. I'll leave that linked down below. There's a few um, like Pandora charm bracelets, obviously as I said I worked with them last year and we were given lots of the new collections and I bought lots of the new collections um, and some of it wasn't completely my style so there's a lot of Pandora, um, a lot of rings, a lot of bracelets and um, yeah so I definitely recommend checking out my Depop if you would like a jewellery bargain. And then I also found some of my gorgeous favourite necklaces, some really delicate styles here. This is actually Pandora, so so delicate and beautiful. This two, these two are um, from Monica Vinader, as is this little heart, and I just absolutely love it. I also found some of my all-time classic favourite jewellery pieces, such as the Monica Vinader Riva ring. This is, this really is an iconic piece of jewellery. Mine's a little bit tarnished, needs good cleaning. Um, and then I also found the rest of my Omega jewellery collection. So this beautiful necklace with the same floral design. And then this is the pendant version, so it just has the one floral design on it. Of course I've got my Pandora charm bracelet that is just so pretty and then a few of my Monica Vinader bangles. I think these are the Fiji bangles. Some of them are plain and some of them have got little diamonds in there. And some other special pieces like this was the first piece of jewellery that Charlie bought me. It is from Monica Vinader with this Labradorite stone in it and then it has the date that we met and love always engraved on the back which is so sweet. Some more beautiful pearl earrings. I don't remember the brand of these but I really love, um, in fact these might be Kate Spade, I love it where you have the diamante detail on the front and then you have a big pearl out the back. And then some more hanging pearls, I think these are from a brand called Ruffier, I'm not sure but they're so delicate and pretty. These I'm almost sure are Ruffier, they are so elegant. Some of my favourite little mini hoops from Monica Vinader, they just have the tiniest little diamonds on them. So now I guess I just have to decide how I'm going to organise the jewellery box. I think I'll put my most worn pieces up at the top here. So let's put it all back together again.
Okay, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about how this box is organized now. So I've got a few of the larger pieces down at the bottom, including all my shell jewelry in one place, my bangles and some slightly more costume jewelry um, and things that I maybe wear a little bit less often. Then this layer, I have got my long pendant necklaces and my slightly shorter ones. And then I've tried to lay out as much of my special pieces as possible. We've got pearl earrings, my Pandora, hearts of Pandora necklace, my Omega jewellery, um, the special necklace from Charlie. This was also a gift from the brand Chloe um, from a collaboration. It's their love bracelet, which is so, so pretty. And then a few more of my different pearly earrings. And then the top layer, so these are the pieces that I reach for the most frequently. I've popped the rings that I wear the most down here. So we've got Pandora, Monica Vinader. Yeah, I think they're the only two brands for rings. And then I've got my Monica Vinader stacking bracelets here. My Missima chunky chain and my Monica Vinader chain bracelet. All my Soru earring earrings here. And then um, the hanging pearl earrings. This is the middle section with kind of miscellaneous, larger rings, hanging necklaces, pearl bracelets. And then we've got earrings that need to be kept a little bit more neat and tidy so that I remember them. Monica Vinader, my Topshop pearls, these hanging pearls. And then we've got slightly chunkier, shorter necklaces at the back here. So my Missima necklaces and the Soru one down there. And then my lovely little And Other Stories pearl necklace is just gonna rest on top there. Not including the watch, but a lot of these other pieces I'm gonna sell. So I have a lot of snapping to do. I'm gonna take some pictures on here. Um, and I've got a busy afternoon ahead of me listing all these jewellery pieces online. goodness that has literally taken me hours i have spent all afternoon organizing through the jewelry and taking photos of the bits that i'm going to list on depop towards the end there were quite a few um like high street pieces left so i've created some bundles mixing high street pieces um with more luxury pieces like Pandora, Astra Mew, Missima, Monica Vinader, things like that. So I'm gonna be selling some bundles on my Depop as well. Um, but that is my jewelry collection and declutter complete. I really hope you enjoyed watching this process. As you saw, Dickie was helping me along with the photography as well, oh my goodness. But yeah, very therapeutic, great job done. And I really hope you enjoyed looking through it with me. Darlings, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.